If you're a dungeon master, chances are you've watched Matt Mercer guide his merry band of misfits on Critical Role and wondered, how the bleep does he do that? While it's easy to chalk it up to arcane magic or a secret pact with dark powers, many of Mercer's techniques are things any DM can incorporate into their games. So let's take a page from the Mercer Manual without turning it into Mercer clones. Number one, world building, crafting a tapestry one thread at a time. Creating a living, breathing world is the cornerstone of good role-playing. Artful world-building can make or break a campaign and set the mood for your adventures. Matt Mercer is masterful at crafting vibrant, immersive settings. And it's no wonder he's had so much success in his campaigns. Fortunately, any DM can learn from him and build exciting worlds for their own games. When it comes to building worlds, Mercer starts small, literally. Before anything else, he focuses on crafting a single village or town and taking time to flesh out details about its denizens and landmarks. This indicates that developing a believable setting can be manageable. One needn't start with an entire continent or sprawling kingdom. He also emphasizes the importance of continually expanding upon the details of your world as the play progresses. Like our reality, things constantly evolve in Mercer's settings. New cultures emerge, characters come and go, relationships are formed and broken, etc. Allowing your world room to change helps foster dynamism in your campaign and keeps players engaged as they experience something new each session. Mercer also stresses the importance of instilling life into your world by creating characters with distinct personalities that interact with one another in unique ways. Gone are the days of one-dimensional NPCs who simply provide directions. Mercer's characters feel like real people who could exist outside of the game world if only they weren't fictional. As a DM, establishing meaningful connections between NPCs breathes reality into your game and allows players to invest themselves more deeply into the narrative. Effective world-building comes down to fostering believable details about all aspects of your setting, from its inhabitants to its environment, that will make it truly special for you and your players alike. Number two, the power of yes and. One of the greatest tools in Matt Mercer's arsenal is the improv technique known as yes and. This simple phrase is used throughout improv comedy to encourage players to accept their scene partner's ideas and build upon them. Mercer applies it to his game by always considering players' actions when crafting his narratives. Rather than shut them down, he works with them and pushes the story forward in ways they couldn't have anticipated. By embracing yes and in your campaign, you'll give your players agency over the story. This will enable them to actively shape the narrative rather than being mere passengers along for the ride. And with active participation comes more investment, meaning greater engagement with your game. The key to effectively using yes and to lies in your willingness to embrace player choices, even when they're unexpected or don't quite fit within your plans. If a player does something you weren't expecting, such as cast a spell you weren't ready for, Think on your feet and use it as an opportunity to make things even more interesting. After all, if you stick too rigidly to a predetermined path, then the beauty of unpredictability that makes D&D &D great will be lost. So take chances and embrace player creativity. It will make for a more memorable game. Number three, character-driven narratives. One of the hallmarks of Matt Mercer's campaigns is his focus on character-driven narratives. In his games, the player's characters take center stage in their own epic tales, often with stories closely tied to their backstories. This ensures they remain personally invested in the narrative and makes for a much more engaging experience overall. At the heart of any good story is personal stakes. Whether it's a vendetta between two families or a long-lost relative involving characters' backstories in the overarching plot will ensure that your players are always invested in what happens next. For example, if one of your players has an estranged father figure, you could use this to introduce tension into an otherwise straightforward quest. Perhaps their father is involved with a nefarious organization and needs rescuing. Now your players have personal stakes at play and will be much more emotionally engaged than they would be if it were just about completing generic tasks. The key to crafting compelling character-driven stories is to weave each player's backstory into the larger narrative. While giving them plenty of room for self-expression is important, remember that these are still tales about your world. 
So make sure that all of your character's motivations somehow connect to the main plot. This can be done by tying their individual goals to larger ones, such as protecting their kingdom from a powerful enemy, or by introducing interesting twists or revelations along the way. For instance, discovering that their father figure was behind a dastardly plan all along. In addition, consider allowing characters who weren't originally connected to become part of each other's stories. This will give you ample opportunities for creating unexpected connections between them and encourage them to think outside the box when developing how their relationships change over time. In Matt Mercer's games, the action doesn't stop at individual character arcs. He also encourages dynamic interactions between players to help create an even more engrossing experience. This can be achieved through various means such as collaborative storytelling, group decision-making, and team-based problem-solving. These elements help create a level of engagement that can't be found in traditional gaming sessions, where the focus is exclusively on each player's individual arc. A key part of fostering dynamic interactions is allowing players to provide input on major decisions. This encourages everyone to think about the campaign setting from multiple perspectives and enables them to contribute ideas when tackling difficult problems or creating interesting plot twists. It also shows that you trust your players and respect their opinions, further deepening their investment in the game world. Another way to promote dynamic interactions is by encouraging cooperative storytelling between characters. This allows each player to express themselves more freely, allowing for more creative role play. And it also helps build trust as they learn how to communicate effectively. And since it requires all players to get involved in some capacity, it ensures that everyone is actively engaged in the narrative, adding another layer of immersion during each session. Finally, remember team-based problem solving. This isn't just applicable in combat scenarios. It can also come into play when dealing with social encounters or navigating tricky situations outside combat. Working together towards a common goal requires everyone to think creatively and find solutions that benefit the whole party, adding an additional layer of complexity and challenge while allowing for individual expression within the group context. Overall, encouraging dynamic interactions between your players will help deepen their engagement in your game world and create even richer stories than they could ever imagine. Number 4. Masterful NPC Interactions in Matt Mercer's games, no detail is too small regarding the NPCs. From sassy shopkeepers to menacing villains, each character is given a voice and personality that makes them unforgettable. Even more impressive, these characters are often crafted with complex motivations and backstories that make interacting with them far more engaging than simply advancing a quest line or slaying monsters. The key to making believable characters is creating a world where no two NPCs are identical. Each one should have a unique voice and backstory to make them stand out. This can be as simple as having one merchant with a kind temperament. In contrast, others are gruff and unfriendly or give a villain a tragic backstory that makes them sympathetic, even as they pose an imminent threat. No matter what you come up with, don't be afraid to go big. Mercer's NPCs are often richly detailed, complete with unique personalities and goals. When crafting your own NPCs for your game, Making them believable is important. Give your characters some quirks. Maybe they love wearing fancy hats or always carrying around a lucky rabbit's foot. But also give them fears and dreams they strive for in life. Showing realistic flaws or aspirations can help bring even the most minor character to life in ways you wouldn't expect. And remember, not every NPC needs an elaborate backstory or character sheet filled with details. Sometimes, all it takes is a few distinctive traits to make an impression. From sassy shopkeepers to menacing villains, Matt Mercer has shown us time and again how powerful NPC interactions can be when done correctly. So take his lead and start crafting your own memorable cast of characters for your next adventure. Number 5. Setting the Scene. Words as Paint. Mercer's descriptions are nothing short of poetic. They engage all the senses, making the game world feel incredibly real, and his world-building is something to behold, demonstrating a rare mastery of immersing players in his world through words. The descriptions he weaves are vivid and evocative, helping players visualize the scene and truly experience the atmosphere. From a bustling marketplace to a gloomy dungeon, Mercer's words paint a picture that draws the players in, making his game worlds feel incredibly real. 
A key part of immersive storytelling is using descriptive language that appeals to all five senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch, and emotions. Describing what a character sees around them will help them imagine their environment more clearly, but taking time to show how it feels or smells can be just as impactful. For example, instead of simply saying it was hot outside, you could say, the air was thick with humidity and smelled faintly of freshly cut grass, or the sun beat down on my skin like a furnace. These small details bring your world to life and make it much easier for players to immerse themselves in it. As Matt Mercer demonstrates time and time again in his games, descriptive language can be an invaluable tool for setting the scene for your story. It helps create atmosphere and helps bring your characters to life. So take the time to describe your environments in as much detail as possible. Don't just focus on what characters can see. Don't forget about all the other senses, too. Describe the rustle of leaves in the wind or the coolness of a damp cave wall. These little touches will bring your game world alive and engage your players with its complexities. As Matt Mercer has demonstrated in his games, language is a powerful tool. One of the most effective ways to use it is through metaphor and simile. Metaphors and similes are figurative expressions that compare two things usually to emphasize an idea or evoke emotion. For instance, you could say the storm was a roaring beast to describe a particularly fierce thunderstorm. This metaphor helps add intensity and drama to an otherwise mundane event. Metaphors and similes can be incredibly evocative when used correctly. They're like tiny sparks that help light a fire in your players' minds. Instead of simply describing something as beautiful, you could say, the stars seem like diamonds sprinkled across the night sky, which paints a much more vivid picture for your players. Such expressions can also be very effective for conveying emotion. Instead of saying someone looked scared, you could say they were as white as a ghost, which gives the player more detail about their character's feelings. Using metaphors and similes can bring your descriptions to life, making them more exciting and engaging for your players. Don't be afraid to get creative with your language. Try comparing two disparate things or using unexpected imagery to drive home your point. With practice, you can hone your ability to bring stories to life with words. So there you have it, five things you can pilfer from Mercer's treasure trove. Remember, you're not trying to become Mercer. You're trying to become a better DM in your own right. So mix and match, tweak and twiddle until you find the best style for you and your players. After all, the best part of being a DM is crafting your own unique brand of storytelling magic. And there it is. Adventurers, we've reached the end of another epic saga. But fret not, for this is merely a pause in our grand tale, not the end. If you've relished our journey today, don't forget to wallop that like button as if you were a raging barbarian swinging a mighty great axe. Your likes are the magical fuel that propels this channel into new horizons, beckoning fellow adventurers to our quest. If you're hungry for more tales, the magic is at your fingertips. Simply hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. It's like your very own arcane eye, keeping you informed and alert to every fresh saga from our realm. Becoming part of our subscriber fellowship does more than keep you updated. It breathes life into this channel. Your support is the hero's cheer that echoes across every plane and every dimension. As we part ways for now, a word of wisdom. May your roles always land on the high side, your quests be laden with thrills, and your sagas turn into legends. Embark now and spin your yarns worthy of the grandest bard. Until our paths cross again, fare thee well, brave adventurers.